Hi, it's James Anderson with jmbullion.com. Yesterday, well, actually the day before yesterday, my sister, she called me uh, from New York. She just got some real estate in New York City and had an unexpected bill come to her. So she needed help selling her gold that she has here in Los Angeles. So I actually, um, you know, she needed to check quickly. So I had to uh, go and sell it to a local coin shop here in LA, which got me to thinking I may as well make a video for it uh, to teach, uh, you know, you folks out there how to best go about doing this. Uh, depending on the city that you're in will depend on how many coin shops you have locally. Uh, Los Angeles is a pretty large city, so there's uh, handfuls of coin shops in the greater Los Angeles area. If you live in a smaller city, uh, you may have one coin shop, you may have two, three, it depends, but you may have none at all. Uh, so it really will depend. We, we actually created a URL for this. If you look up jmbullion.com forward slash local, you will find uh, a bunch of different coin shops that we did research on and, and have posted uh, information on. So it's a nice uh, handy way for you to get some additional information on local coin shops. Um, so anyways, the, the whole point of this was to give you a few tools to use and a few ideas. Also, you, you can use just simple Google search. Just Google search your city plus the term maybe local coin shop. and. Um, and then stuff will come up. One thing to be wary of though is to, to know that m most of the places that you will find retail wise are gonna be uh, we buy gold shops and stuff like that. You're not gonna get that great a price at places like that. They're not gonna respect the premium that perhaps your coins uh, deserve. Uh, so just understand that when you, when you go to any of these places to sell your gold or silver, know what you can get for your products online from other online dealers who are buying back your products understand what you can get if you um, if you ship it to them and wait the week or so to get your check or your bank wire transfer uh, versus what you can get locally and and kind of weigh that depending on <clears throat> you know how quickly you need the money or um, you know if you can wait the extra time uh, for the additional payment that maybe an online company might give you over your local dealer so back to the point about my sister, uh, her selling her gold. She bought a bunch of gold back in 2008 when the financial crisis hit, and you know she got it at a good price. Uh, so selling a little portion of her gold wasn't a big deal. Uh, we we went here in uh, West Los Angeles to a coin shop, sold uh, 10 gold coins. Uh, I think spot was around 11.70 or so. And we got a price of $15 over spot for each gold eagle, uh, selling 10 gold eagle coins. Gold and silver are extremely liquid. People don't really understand that who don't own it, how fast you can get paid with it, uh, whether it's cash or with check. In this instance, we chose check because you know, she lives in New York City. She needed the check to be put in her bank here in Los Angeles so she could withdraw the money and then pay on it very quickly. Uh, I believe we end up getting a check for 11000 and 900 or 800 some odd dollars so we put it in the bank but then again some of you won't want to have any paper trail at all when you're selling your bullion or your coins or what have you so um, you can always elect to get paid in cash you may get a lower bid if you elect to get paid in cash um, because the dealer will um, you know use that as leverage to give you a lower bid but you know be it as it may you could get paid in cash below ten thousand dollars without any forms being filled out uh, we've actually created a form at jmbullion.com an infographic uh, that's about this topic and I'm gonna put the URL below so you can learn more about um, IRS reporting and uh, you know privacy and such so that's it for this video be sure to subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel and stay tuned we're gonna make more